Okay, so the fact that the title literally says what I'm about to explain literally disgusts me. But honestly, I can't lie. I've done this before, and I think all of us have as well, especially the guys. Girls, I think it's just a natural thing that apparently some guys enjoy that you guys just do for some reason, which I have no idea why. But today's story is honestly something disgusting. So if you have a strong stomach, I advise you guys watch this video. But if you don't, then I mean, you can still watch the video, but I would advise you not to eat. Anyways, like I always say, make sure you just do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and also thank you guys so much for all the love and support on these videos it means a lot when you guys do but other than that let's get straight into this insane story yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another crazy story so as the title says yes i one time ate my own devil's cream and the way this ended up happening was honestly super embarrassing and it was totally by accident in no way was i just trying to test something for science i know a lot of guys do this to think like you know it's for science but in reality it wasn't Anyways, I remember back when I was in grade 10, I was, you know, always doing the devil's tango. I'd always go out and basically hang out with random girls and basically always just kind of just do it with them. I don't know why it always became like a natural routine every month to do a different girl. And to be fair, I do have a body count right now and I am currently 21, turning 22 in May. That is at 131. So you guys can already tell, yes, I did a lot during high school. But like I was saying earlier, I remember in my grade 10, year there was one girl in my class that was really odd now, the thing about this girl that many guys told me at least was that this girl was really outgoing and by outgoing i mean she would like to try new things but not only that she was kind of a hippie and the reason i'm saying that is because every time we would have a conversation with her it'd be something along the lines of oh my goodness like cutting down the trees would be like so bad but like also peace on earth you already know i don't know it was really interesting and every conversation we would have with her had to do with something about the planet or saving it or how like you know crystals will make you feel better i don't know all i remember is that basically the first time i met her she had blue hair and she was literally telling me that being a taurus was disgusting so i don't know do with that what you will going on though i remember one time though i ended up walking up to her and i ended up explaining like how like you know even though i'm a taurus i'm actually a really good guy and you know she had the doubt so obviously when girls have doubt in something what do you do well you challenge it so i remember i looked at her and went okay listen you maybe not like tauruses but i'm gonna be honest here like i'm actually a w taurus all right she ended up looking at me like kind of questioning me and she's like um no oh yeah uh no yeah is what i kept explaining to her because she just wouldn't put it through her head and then she ended up finally adding my snapchat when i added her on snapchat i will say one thing even though she was a hippie with blue hair that probably puts crystals up her never mind i can't say that youtube will demonetize me but even though you know she was a crystal andy i will say this much she was pretty cool to talk to like other than the conversation about the crystals and stuff she was actually pretty decent person and on top of that she was also um well what can i say she was actually really hot <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you aside from the weird things she has going on with her life she is actually like really awesome to like look at as well so i remember i decided to kind of like hit her up and basically use my unspoken riz as you guys may say nowadays to basically you know kind of you know make her feel moist sorry i like using the word moist it sounds so cool like literally say it right now with me moist sorry i'm getting distracted but basically yeah so me and her we ended up basically you know rizzing each other up and one thing led to another she ended up sending me some pretty spicy photos now from there i thought my mission was complete but to be honest i want to see how far i could take this because even though she's a super down-to-earth girl other than shoving a crystal up herself maybe i could you know slide in with my amazing ultra mega eggplant andy crystal if that makes any sense so i remember i decided to hit her up on snapchat saying yo so like do you want to like maybe like meet up sometime she ended up questioning if like you know if she should meet up with me and trying to think like you know oh like well the stars aren't colliding then meeting up with a Taurus could lead to bad luck. I don't know. She made up some sort of excuse that had to do with the stars. But in reality, I ended up just telling her, listen, honestly, I'm just trying to hang out. If you don't want to do it, then don't. That's the one thing many guys don't do nowadays, and I feel like needs to be put out there more. Guys, if you are trying to hang out with a girl, don't seem desperate. Don't play along with the words. Don't be like, oh, like, want to try later? Like, do, don't do any of that. Literally, just say yes or no. If they don't want it, then be like, I bet, and then just unadd them. Or don't unadd them. Just leave them on delivered. you know? Just wait until the proper moment. All girls, or I should say most girls, usually will DM you right away when they realize that, you know, they have the option, but then, you know, you're not being desperate for it or giving the attention 
attention she wants for it. So she kind of just ends up like kind of luring back later on when she's really in the mood for it. It'll make more sense if you actually try it. So trust me, boys, just try it out. That's a tip of advice. I should become an educational channel. Sorry, going on though. I remember basically I ended up saying, all right, well, whatever. You don't want to hang out. Fair enough with me. And I ended up basically just ignoring her until I want to say like three days later, I ended up going on my Snapchat and I saw she messaged me. She didn't only message me once. She messaged me actually three different times, but I decided to ignore her the first two times because you know, who knows what she was going to say. But then afterwards, I remember I decided to open it on the third day of her messaging me back to back. And I ended up saying, yeah, yo, what's going on? She ended up saying how, you know, she wants to test a theory and how like, you know, her, the stars feel like she should be aligned and something about her rubbing a, a red crystal that she was down to like, you know, do the devil's tango. So at that point, I'm like, I bet I'm down. Like, I, I, let's do it. So me and her, we ended up basically going to like this like place. I don't know what it was, but she ended up picking me up with her car and we ended up going to like this. I don't want to say it's like a greenhouse, but the kind of was, but like there wasn't like windows all over the place. It was, it was kind of just a place for plants. Okay. And then I remember me and her, we ended up basically actually funny enough. We ended up doing the devil's tango and everything was good. Everything was going fine until I remember, um, how do I put this? She got something on her mouth, the devil's cream. And she decides to try to kiss me. I ended up saying like, oh, like, nah, like I'm not down to kiss. So I, I kind of try to like dodge her. You know what I mean? But then one thing she ended up trying to do was that she ended up forcefully kissing me. And then that's when I realized I had the devil's cream that I created in my mouth. I remember right after she kissed me, I ended up literally spitting on the ground because I didn't want that in my mouth. Because if you really think about it, you're eating children or sorry, you're eating. Um, how do I put this? Moving unbuilt children. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just gross to me. And I know like some girls are going to be like, oh, like it's a great moisturizer. No, it's gross. Okay. Like, why would you eat it? Like, why, dude? But anyways, I remember I basically ended up trying it and I was just grossed out and I just didn't want to like, you know, basically get near the girl afterwards. And I ended up kind of like pulling myself back and saying, yo, like, that's kind of weird. Not going to lie. And she ended up looking at me saying, oh, like, why are you being so weird? Like, come on. No, like, I'm just, I just don't, I don't want to taste my own devil's cream. It's what I ended up telling her. For some reason, this girl couldn't put it together. She couldn't put two and two together that I didn't want to eat my own devil's cream. So I remember she ended up basically like getting all upset with me and I had to walk home. But as I was walking home, I started to basically realize that eating your own devil's cream to some people might not be disgusting. Like kind of like eating your boogers. Some people just do it because they think it tastes fine and don't taste anything. It's just the, you know, the feeling of it. And some people actually just like the taste of it and they're mad weird champ. But one thing I will say is that it's just super weird. And honestly, I think that will be the last time I ever do it. And I hopefully will keep it that way. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also join me live as I'm live on kick right now. Anyways, like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.